Let's build this blog header using the custom layouts module from the Neve Pro theme. And you would need to have the pro version of Neve installed. A link to this landing page will be included in the description. So let's begin. I'm going to hover over appearance on the left and click Neve options. Okay, so now I'm going to click on Neve Pro at the top of the page. And I'm going to scroll until I find the custom layouts module. Once I do, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so now the custom layouts module has been enabled. Now we need to access it. All right, so first I'm going to reload the page. And once it has reloaded, I'm going to click on custom layouts on the left under Neve options. Okay, so here we have no layouts. Let's click add new. And we just want to close this uh, modal. And let's give this layout a name. I'm going to call it test. But when you're creating your own, if you're not testing, give it a name that's meaningful. So now I'm going to click on edit with Elementor at the top. All right, so this is the Elementor page editor. On the right, you have an area where your layout will be shown. And here on the left, this is where you'll find the widgets that you'll use to build your page. Okay, so I'm gonna move back over to the right hand side and click on the plus icon to select a one column structure. And this is too short, so I need to adjust the height. I'm gonna go over to the left under height. I'm gonna select minimum height. I'm gonna move this slider to adjust the height. The height could be adjusted in pixels, viewport height, or viewport width. I'm going to select viewport height and make it 40. Okay, so now we need a background. I'm going to go over to the style tab on the left. I'm going to select the classic background type. And I can either choose a color using the color picker like this, or I can add an image. So I'm going to open a new tab and go over to unsplash.com. This is a website that you can use to find and download free, beautiful, royalty-free images. So let's imagine my blog will be about travel. I'm going to search for a travel photo. And I'm going to scroll down until I find one that's suitable. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click on the image. And next to download free, I'm going to select the medium size. I'm really trying to avoid having to compress an image. Um, so I'm going to go back to the website and I'm going to upload the picture that I just downloaded. The size is about 439 kilobytes, which is not bad. So I'm going to click insert media. Okay, and I'm going to move over to the left hand side to adjust the position of the image. I'm going to make it centered. Okay, I think this is a good position. So you can always use these options to adjust your image. Now I'm going to go back to the widgets panel at the top of the page. And I'm going to drag a heading to this hero section. Okay, now we need to style this text. Let's make it white. So I'm going to go over to the style tab over on the left hand side. I'm going to change the text color to white. Okay, if you need to, you can always adjust the typography. So under font family, I'm going to look for Hebo. I'm going to type it in the search box. Okay, it's right here. And I'm going to leave the weight as 600. Now let's go back to content. Now I'm going to change the HTML tag from H2 to H1. And I'm going to center align the text. Now I'm going to replace this text with my own. And that will be the name of the blog. So I'm going to type um, my travel blog. All right. So I think this text is still a bit too big. So I'm going to go back over to the style tab. And under typography, I'm going to change the style. Let's make this about 4REM. All right, so technically we already have a header. And remember, you can customize this however you want. Um, but I'm gonna add one more element and that will be some text under this heading. So I'm gonna drag a text editor widget right here. Now, ideally you'd want to replace this text with your own, but I'm gonna leave it. So now I'm gonna change this text color to white. So I'm going to select white and center align the text. Actually, I'm not going to make this color pure white. I'm going to make it off white. Okay, now I'm going to add a background overlay to this section. So I'm going to click on the section and I'm going to go over to background overlay at the bottom here. And let's select a background type. So under classic, I'm going to use the color picker to choose a dark color. So let us choose blue. And let's move this color picker to this corner here. Okay. And we can also adjust the opacity. So I'm going to use the opacity slider to increase it. All right. 
maybe this is a bit too dark. So you can either decrease the opacity or what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the color and select a lighter uh, shade of blue. Maybe something like this. Okay. Now let's add a hover animation. So I'm going to click on the hover tab and I'm going to click on background type and choose a dark color. So when we hover over this section, it gets darker. If you want, you can also adjust the transition duration, but I'm going to leave this as is. Now I'm going to preview my changes by clicking on this icon. All right, so here's our blog header. Now I'm going to close this unsplash tab right here, and I'm going to go back to Elementor and publish this page. All right, so click the menu icon in the edit panel and click exit to dashboard. Okay, so we have successfully created our layout, which is basically a post. Now we need to configure some more settings. So here we have layout options. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu. And here we have a number of locations where we can display our custom layout. So we need to focus on hooks. I'm going to select the hooks option. And um, just to show you what hooks are, I'm going to go back to this tab and I'm going to quickly pull up the home page. So I'm going to click on visit site. And I'm going to click on show hooks at the top of the page. Okay. So these are hooks, which are basically places where we can insert the custom layout. I'm going to insert it right here after the header. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Um, let's close this page. Okay. Now let's select the second drop down menu. Now we want to select a hook. I'm going to scroll down until I find after header. So this is it after header hook. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down again and we have an option to enable expiration dates for this header. I'm not going to need this feature, so I'm going to turn it off. So let's configure conditional logic. This is where the magic happens. And as you can see here, it says that if no conditional logic is selected, the custom layout will be applied site-wide. So let's add our logic. I'm going to click on this select menu and I'm looking for archive type. Here it is. I'm going to click this is equal to now select posts. So this basically means show the custom layout in the hook that we selected when the archive type is equal to posts. To add another rule, click the plus icon. To remove it, click the X. Now it looks like everything was set up correctly, so I'm going to click on the update button at the top right hand corner of this page. All right, so all we need to do right now is view our blog page. So I'm going to go back over to this tab and hide these hooks. Now we just need to click on the blog link in the header. So I'm going to click on blog. Okay, so here we have our hero image. So now you know how to create a header using custom layouts from Neve Pro. And if you're interested in purchasing Neve, we have included links in the description. We're also curious to know what you guys are building using Neve. So if you build something cool, let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.